welcome Shadowhunters, Angels and Dawn Models alike and welcome to Fair and Unbiased for episode 4 of Shadowhunter season 3, Thy Soul Instructed. What I want to talk about for this um, episode is actually a very serious topic that I've actually been wanting to make a video for in regards to Shadowhunters for actually a long time. I just, I don't know why I just never got round to it but I'm glad that I've been given the opportunity now with what's going on with Jace to discuss it in a full episode. So what is it that I want to talk about? I want to talk about Shadowhunters and how it brings light to mental health. Throughout season 2 in particular there were different hints about how each of the Shadowhunters were going through different experiences with mental health. Um, the, the one thing that stands out to me in particular was Alec attempting to kill himself when, um, when the spell had it Clary saying to him that it, he was a murderer and he killed Jocelyn and it showed that that had clearly, clearly been preying on his mind and it was probably making him extremely depressed and it actually resulted in him attempting to take his life. Another thing that stands out to me is Magnus attempting to, uh, talking to Simon about how he was, he also attempted to take his life um, and Camille saved him from that because he had just spent so long watching people he loved die and over and over again just and he was getting tired of it and he almost jumped off bridge so he clearly was going through um a deep depression as well clary is great was grieving she had to deal with the loss of her mother isabel had to deal with addiction and the the issues that it proposed for her mentally as well especially when she was trying to go cold turkey Simon had to deal with losing his family. He didn't lose them as in they're dead. He lost them as in he had to leave them behind. Um, there's lots of different bits and pieces throughout Shadowhunters that deals with mental health. Valentine probably went through some sort of psychosis as well, I'm sure, because he, the hat, he was... There was just some of his ideals and how um, he managed to like convince people to join him he probably had the the symptoms of a psychopath or a sociopath I'm not sure which is the right one but what I'm trying to say here is that Shadowhunters has been addressing mental health for a long time now and I for one am really grateful for it I'm glad that they're bringing light to it and this episode in season three was a particular example of how they are bringing light and giving exposure to mental health issues. We see in Jace that he, when he becomes the oil, he doesn't remember what he's doing because we see that Lilith puts him to sleep and he follows out her orders almost like he's sleepwalking. And as he does this, he would wake up suddenly where, when he's either done with the mission or as we see when Clary wakes him up. So he doesn't remember anything, he doesn't remember what he's been doing and he doesn't remember why or where he's been or what he's been doing and it's actually Alec who brings up to him about his mother Celine. We find out who um, Jace's mother was last season as well. We find out that Celine went th was mentally ill, she had a psycho she was had a psychosis as well and Alec is particularly concerned that Jace is going through that as well. As Jace is power of a tie, he wants to help him and he is worried that um, Jace is going through what his mother went through because as he said, it is hereditary. Mental health, like depression, psychosis, anxiety even, it's all it all can be hereditary and or it can come as a result of chemicals in your brain or the environment that you're in or a particular um, tragedy or event that happened to you. It, all of this can contribute to um, having particular mental illnesses and whether we like Jace or not we have to admit that he has been through a lot. He's been through like 10 parents believing that so many people are like his parents and then finding out they're not and then having to cope with the realization that his mother and father are dead and his mother killed herself when she was pregnant with him. That's a lot to take in and even uh, he himself brought it up as an excuse when Alec was was asking him about it. He also has an expectation from others to be perfect. He has 
the weight of it, of expectation from others to do well all the time and to not show weakness. Whether this is perceived from Jace only or it's been pushed on him from others, it's unclear. But it's definitely not pushed on him from Alec or Isabel or even Clary. It's some. I think it's something that he um, views himself that he needs to be. He needs to be perfect. He needs to not show vulnerability. And that's actually a very common thing with males and in mental health particularly. They don't go to the doctor, they don't talk about it, where statistics show that women are more likely to talk to someone about it, whether it be a friend, a doctor, a family member. Males, particularly like Jace, are more likely to bottle it up and just hide it. And that's not the way to go. You you need to talk to someone. That is what one of the most important things of dealing with depression, anxiety, anything like that is that you have to talk to someone even if it just means that you're unloading your emotions it is very important that you talk to someone that you care about and that is something that Jace is avoiding right now because he probably doesn't want to seem weak he doesn't want to concern anybody he doesn't want the attention to be on him in a concerned or worried way it's just it's not what he wants it's not what he's used to and it's not what he he's, he's not, it's not what he wants to it's not what he seeks out and every time someone asks him he just pushes it away and says no 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 I'm fine. We see that he is worried about it though because he goes to the Jade Wolf to talk to Luke who knew his mother about what she was like and whether she was forgetting where she went or if she was having blackouts and if she was experiencing the same sort of things that he himself is currently experiencing under Lilith's control. And Luke told him a lot about his mother and it was actually a very it was a very touching scene to hear to see Jace learning about his mother and his father and how his father was the only one who his mother was really properly um I don't know what the word is she was comfortable with him and even when he died she wore the ring around his neck the way Jace now does and it was nice. It was nice to get more of Jace's backstory after so long of not knowing who his parents were, what was going on. It was really nice to see Jace learning more about his family, even if it was tinged with um, the worry that he was also experiencing what his mother went through. Because he is also concerned, like Alec, that he is going through the psychosis that his mother went through. And that is a very real worry for a lot of people. A lot of us have parents or relatives who have severe mental health issues and it is a concern for a lot of people that they will too develop it and where it is manageable for a lot of people it can still be a very daunting thing to be faced with and it, I, I, I just I want to talk about it because I think it's really important that Shadowhunter brought it up in their episode Coming from the point of view of someone with a severe anxiety issue, I I am really happy to see um, shows like Shadowhunters, shows in the mainstream basically, addressing the issue of mental health and the fact that one of the main problems with it is that people don't talk to others about it. We bottle it up and we try and hide it until, until it bursts out in the most horrible ways like for example Alec trying to kill himself when he was faced with what he himself had feared in season two that he was a murderer it comes out eventually whether it comes out in a in a healthy way or unhealthy way it will come out and that's what we've seen with Alec last season and I think that's what we're going to see with Jace this season because he isn't talking to anybody and that is a bad thing he's not even talking to Clary the woman he loves and that can be very dangerous, especially since this isn't just like mental health issues on the way that it is in our society. It's like mental health issues with like vampires, warlocks, werewolves, you know, kind of, it's kind of extrapolated a bit for the, for the terms of the show. But whatever way that it's portrayed, I think that they're doing a great job addressing the issue of mental health, particularly mental health in males, because I don't see that addressed enough. And I'm not saying that there's like a particular like proclivity towards advertising mental health for women, but I feel like it needs to be pointed out more that males are less likely to, likely to talk, males are me less likely to go to their doctors, males are more likely to bottle it down and push it down until it comes out in an unhealthy manner. And I'm so happy that Shadowhunters is, final is actually addressing this issue. 
and I can only hope that things get better for Jace. I hope that he's able to find help. I hope he's able to talk to someone or they're able to find out what's going on. And for once in my life I actually find myself rooting for Jace. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I, I can't wait to see him get better. I hope he gets better. And I just want to applaud Shadowhunters for the job that they've been doing in bringing up mental health issues and I hope that they continue to shine light on important issues like this and I just want to thank them for that because it I don't know about anyone else but it personally means a lot to me and my experiences with mental health and I just I just hope that if there's anyone out there even watching my videos who is struggling with mental health talk to someone even if it's so even if it's an online friend talk to someone vent you wouldn't you'd be surprised how much getting shit off your chest actually helps and see your doctor if you have to get a, a request a therapist talk to your parents about it see what they have to say just don't bottle it up don't hide it because you'd be surprised how many people are willing to help you and willing to to help you get better because there are people out there rooting for you whether it seems like there aren't there are people out there rooting for you and I can only, and even if you aren't I'll be rooting for you you can talk to me if you want <laughs> um yeah that's just what I wanted to say for this episode so thank you Shadow Hunters for addressing such a serious issue and I can't wait to see where else they go with this so that's it for this week's Shadowhunters, the angels and down well just like. I'll see you next week for episode 5 and remember, talk to someone. You'd be surprised who's going to listen.